You are watching CBC News Network. I'm Natasha Fata. We want to bring you an update now on a story that we've been covering extensively for over a year. Because Iran has just released popular hip-hop musician Tumaj Salehi from prison on bail. You might remember that Salehi had been detained since his arrest last year for showing support to anti-government protests following the death in custody of 22-year-old Masa Amini in September of 2022. Now, Iran experienced months of nationwide protests, and the unrest represented one of the fiercest challenges to the Islamic Republic since its establishment in 1979. Journalist Nahayat Tizoush has been tracking this story for us from the very beginning. In fact, she broke Tamaj's arrest story. She's joining us today from Milan with more on his release. Nahayat, what's the latest on Tamaj Salehi? Well, Natasha, the latest that we know is that yesterday in the early morning hours, his family and friends had gathered in a small crowd in front of the Esfahan Central Prison to really give the rapper a heartfelt welcome. Um, that did not happen. Authorities resisted until quite late yesterday, actually right before midnight. They did not release him out of the gates of prison. They chose to drop him off at an undisclosed location in the city. And those in his inner circle and Tumaj's inner circle who I've talked to, uh, they claim that essentially the regime agents who were on site wanted to really torment the rapper until the 11th hour. And they also wanted to really prevent any images of circulating of, you know, Tumaj in front of, of the jail. And um, really, they saw this as a tactic by the regime. But uh, as I'm hearing from people close to the rapper, he is mentally in good spirits. Physically, that's a different story. As you know, Natasha, we've talked about the tortures that he reportedly endured, solitary confinement. He suffers from several broken bones in his body, from his finger to his ribs and his legs. So he really, um, according to those close to him, needs medical attention urgently. But uh, yes, today, um, based on a hefty bail that was posted, the rapper is free temporarily. And uh, obviously, with that, no longer has to face those tortures um, that, that he dealt with in, in detainment. And Hyatt, as you were speaking, we were showing an image of Tumaj. It looks at night. He's in a, sort of a gray jogger suit and carrying a, a bouquet of flowers. Is that him getting out of the prison? Uh, that is not him getting out of the prison. That is him basically being captured somewhere in the city of Esfahan. I and that see. is exactly that is exactly the tactic that those close to him were referring to. Um, the regime, obviously, it's really bad PR, if one can call it that, for too much to be captured in an image outside of prison walls uh, immediately. So they did that uh, reportedly to prevent that from happening. Okay. So why? Because, as, as I said, it was just over a year ago we started reporting on this together. And, um, and you broke so much of the stories, and there was so much international pressure to release the, the the stories of the brutality that you brought to the world about how he was being tortured in the prison, the, so much outcry. Why now, Nahayat? Well, this is a question that many people are asking, and the timing is definitely noteworthy. A lot of Iranians are, of course, rejoicing. His fans are rejoicing. If you look at social media, it's tweets by the thousands. But really, a lot of activists and advocates are saying it's a way for the regime to distract from really this bubbling anti-regime sentiment, as you mentioned and you referred to the protests that have been happening. And Iran is really in a cycle of anti-regime protest movements. And actually, this month, uh, a lot of Iranians are commemorating the fourth anniversary of Bloody November. Natasha, you covered um, that crackdown by the regime, where reportedly 1,500 protesters were killed. And these are protesters too much dedicated many of his songs to. Um, but ultimately, many of the people who are close to the rapper, they feel that it was the international media and political attention on his case that really pushed the regime to perhaps reconsider Essentially, in a nutshell, it seems like the rapper became too much of a liability behind prison walls. And given that this really hefty bail sum was posted, they are actually really able to control his movement, 
likely he he may think twice before speaking the way that he he was before um so they sort of saw it as we will release him and therefore we can control him more easily and particularly some activists have told me that they think the regime hopes the international media attention on Tumaj will die down um i just have to note here that it is important to say that he's out on bail. He still faces all the charges um, that, that were on, on, his, on his case file. And so at any point, of course, he could be arrested again. So this will undoubtedly play a role in decisions he makes and whether or how to behave and how to speak out. Okay, then we'll turn to you again as the story develops. Journalist Nahaya Tazouche joining us from Milan, Italy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natasha.